Hello my YouTube friend, this is Not Mechanic here and I'm working on my 1997 Hyundai Accent and what I'm doing today is replacing the thermostat the reason why I'm changing the thermostat is because um, when, I, when I warm up the car the, the top hold it stays cold but the, what I usually mean is that the thermostat is stuck closed stuck closed so I'm just going to show you how to replace it how to change it and the first thing you have to do, you have to put something under your car to get the cooling. There's two ways to do this. You can take both, both of these um, bows off and lift it up, right? But I think it's going to make it a little harder when you try to put the gasket in. So the next thing we're going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it out from here, from this clamp. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to um, disconnect the sensors here. There's two sensors in the bottom that I'm going to disconnect. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a plastic back in my in my alternator because I don't want my alternator to get wet. So that's what I'm doing. Now, if you notice, I have two different um, bowls here. The reason being, when I bought this car four years ago, this um, bowl right here was stripped, so I put a bigger one for it to work. So one is gonna be a 12. This one, the original one, I believe is a 12, and the one I put is a 13 millimeter. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the coolant off a little bit. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take it. And what you're going to need is a pair of pliers. As you can see, still have the original clamps. And what I'm going to do is just press it and press it back. If you have a bigger one, it would be better. There you go, go back. Now what you're gonna do is, you're gonna pull it back. Now if you had a hard time, you use a screwdriver, and little by little, you pry the holes right here, okay? But it already seems that it's easy, so the cooling is gonna start running, so make sure you have something in the bottom to catch it. And I do have it, I'll cover my alternator, because I know it's gonna get wet. Keep trying. And pull. And there goes out. And then if you can, you can pick it up for too much don't come out. I wish I had something to hold it. Let me see if I can think of something. Oh, you can stay right there. Okay. So there you go. Lift it up. Hopefully, if you have something to tie, it even be better. I don't have nothing right now, so I'm just gonna hold it there for a minute. And now, like I said, one is a 12, one is a 13, and this is this is the 13. I'm using a 13 millimeter socket. Like I said, the original one is a um, is a 12. So. probably want to do one and one like that one 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 well, let me get a longer got me a little longer one here take this one off I still got my pajamas on. <laughs> goes. One off. Now, like I said, the original one is a 12. 12 millimeter. Very easy. It's right on the top. So, on this 97 Hyundai Accent, they made it easy. 
he's right on the top. When you take this off, it's gonna leak some more cooling. Hopefully you can see that. Let me see. Can you see that? Let me get a little closer. Remember the 12 goes in this one. So now all we're gonna do is it should be easy to lift it up. There you go. You lift it up, they got a gasket on it. Easy. And it goes to gasket. Make sure when you get the new one, you get a new gasket. Let me take this one off. Alright. Get a new gasket with it. All you gotta do is pull it. There you go. Just make sure you know which direction goes where. And if I notice, this goes in the top. Okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and get the new thermostat. I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be right back. Okay, my friends, I'm back. Um, AutoZone didn't have the thermostat in this area, or the gasket, so I had to go all around looking for one. Um, I also noticed that my, that my silicone for the gasket is frozen because I had it in the trunk. So I just came back from, from AutoZone and um, I, forget to, I forgot to get one because I just noticed that this thing is frozen, frozen, frozen. It's very cold out here, so I'm not gonna be able to use this, but I recommend that when you're gonna put the gasket back, that you put some type of silicone, um, I mean some type of silicone for gasket in there. Um, don't do what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna put it because I don't have it. It's too cold out here. So, first thing you're gonna do, you gotta scrape the whole gasket out of here. So you wanna scrape it and do the best you can. How you doing, sir? Okay. So you just clean it real good, the best you can. You had like a brush, and also do it with um with brake cleaner. So you do the best you can. Make sure no dirt get in there. Okay, it's pretty good. So then you're gonna take the inside one, and you don't want nothing to fall in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a rag inside. Hopefully I can do it um, with the rag inside and clean the gasket. I don't want nothing to fall in there. So what I'm gonna do is just clean around the gasket. What you wanna do is take all that gasket out. Cause you're gonna put the other gasket in. And in my situation, like I'm not putting no silicone because I put, um, it's frozen. And I'm definitely ain't going back to AutoZone to get one. So you just want to clean it good. Make sure the whole thing comes out, see? Take the old one. This is plastic. So this thing looks like it's been changed before. So you just want to... The reason why I got that rack because I don't want, I don't want it to fall inside. So there you go. See that? Took that whole piece out. Okay. So clean it up real good, clean all the gasket out. How you doing? And I think that's pretty good. You could probably do better than that. Clean it up. And the reason why I'm changing it is because my car has heat, but the heat is not um, hot enough. So I just checked around. What I did was I checked up to see if I had enough cooling. I checked the two holes on the on the heater cord. I checked my fuses. I checked everything. Everything. Everything is up to part except the top on um, holes. Like I said in the beginning, it was cold. So it gives me indication that um, the thermostat was stuck um, closed. So I'm changing it because I need some heat in my car. So once you clean it up, like I said, you want to make sure you put silicone on it but I don't have it 
So I'm gonna use the part that I just bought. And it's not good to do it this way. You always want some type of silicone for extra protection to protect it. But like I said, I don't have it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my best to put this gasket in there and put it as straight as possible. as straight as possible and make sure that it's covering everything you know what I should do it this way first I should do it this way first we can hold it a little bit at least the screw there you go so I'll take the other screw Put it right in there. Make sure, make sure it's covered all around. All around. Use your, make sure you use your silicone. I don't have it, so I'm not using it. Oh, it'd be nice to put the thermostat. And I'm not even gonna edit this. I'm not gonna edit it. That's what you can see that we made a mistake. I'm a non-mechanic. Make sure you put your thermos back in. Alright? <laughs> I'm not gonna edit it. I'm gonna keep it just like this. You know? Like I said, I do videos to help people, those that don't know about cars, I learn as I go. So remember when we took it out that this thing, this little um, pin right here, was in the top. So we're gonna put it in the top. Okay? Oh boy, I know I'm going to get a lot of thumbs down for that one, but it's okay. That's alright. I just do it for you to know, for you guys and girls that are doing it, don't be ashamed if you make a mistake. You know, these guys are mechanics. Me and you, we just um, doing things ourselves. So it is okay to make mistakes. And if somebody criticizes you, eh, that's undone. That's the issue. I always say, I always say nobody pays my rent. <laughs> so, you know, I, it's always better to criticize than, than give people credit. My mother taught me that a long time ago. Oh, boy. So, don't forget to put your third wrist back, all right? So, you just want to put the screws little by little in. <laughs> I wonder who's gonna first one's gonna make a comment. <laughs> I gotta laugh at myself. I can't. I can't believe I forgot the nervous thing. That's what this whole job is about, right? Changing the thermostat. And I can't believe I forgot to put it back. And when you tie it up, you don't want to go too tight because um, you're going to strip it. So you just want to go tight enough. Make sure you don't do this with the car on and make sure that the cooling is not hot. The car has to be cold when you do this. Okay, do not attempt to do it while the car is on or the cooling is hot. So we're going to put the hose back and the hose right here. We're going to push it back and push it in there. Okay. Right there, 
is good. Make sure it's good right there. I still got the old clamps as, as you can see. Let's try these better. It's the ones I started with. Oh, I guess these are better. Okay, make sure it's even all around. Make sure this is tight. Don't forget to take the bag out and plug everything in. Don't forget to plug your sensors in. Bottom one, the one in the bottom is for the gauge and the one for the top is the uh, cooling sensor. Make sure you plug them in. Don't forget to plug them in. Make sure everything is plugged in. Now what you want to do, just fill it up. And I got me a nice little 50-50 cooling. And you're going to fill it up. Once you fill up the coolant, what you want to do is run the car and put the heater on on full blast and let it run and let it run for a while. And you're gonna to try to get the bubbles out. So this is what we're gonna do. We'll turn the car on. The way I do it, once everything is running, you let it run. What you want to do is check while it gets hot, press the top of the water hose. And make sure bubbles come out to get all the air out. So I'm gonna run the car until it gets hot and I'll be right back. Okay, my friends, while the car is running, the heat is on. Um, don't worry about all that smoke that's coming out because that's the empty freeze when you when you empty out the cooling, when the cooling fell. So it's gonna be smoky a little bit. So now while the car is running and the heat is full blast, what you wanna do is, be careful, stand back. You wanna press the top holes. And you wanna test the, uh, press the top holes, right? And make sure that bubbles come out. And what you're doing, the bubbles that are coming out is the air. There you go, you see that? They actually have this bot, um, like this bottle that you can actually put there, but I don't have it. So what I do is the easiest way that I do it is just take the top of the hose and just keep squeezing it until all the air comes out. So I'm gonna be doing this for a little while until the engine gets hot. And like I say, be very careful because the fan is also under there, and I'm just pressing it. And while it's, when you press it, it's gonna, you know, some of the cooling is gonna fall. So you wanna be, act, you wanna uh, be filling it up. So remember, the thermostat is right here. There's only two um, two um, screws here. I think one was a 12, and the other one was a 13. The reason why was, this one was a 13 because when I bought this car four years ago, this thing was all messed up, and I put a bigger uh, bowl in there. So if your car is um doesn't have no heat and the top of the hole is um cold um it could be that your thermostat is closed but the first thing you want to do is just check make sure you have antifreeze make sure that your, your two um the two holes that go to the heater core they both hot and the way you check that is with a ther um i have like this thermostat thing that you can actually check it and so right now what i'm doing is just waiting for the car to heat up and pressing it and I, what I'm gonna do is just press it and keep the bubble the bubbles going. So what I do is once the car is nice and hot and all the bubbles gone, I'm gonna let you know if the heater is working and if the top of the hose is working. I'll be back. Okay my friends I'm back. I ran the car for a little while. The top hose is a little um hot. I mean a lot hot. I got heat so that's how you change a thermostat on a 1997 Hyundai Accents. It's